All right, welcome back. Uh, here we are designing a uh, MIPS processor using VHDL. And at this point in the uh, series, you know, we've designed the instruction memory. I think we did that last time. We have uh, did the register file. We did the ALU. We did the ALU control. Did we do the ALU controller? Controller? I can't remember if we did that. Um, but we did the register file and the sign extender and a bunch of muxes. Well, today we're going to do data memory. All right, we're going to implement data memory kind of the same way we did instruction memory. But the bottom line there is uh, you have an input um, called address that says what address in memory you're going to uh, try to look up, read or write. And then here's the write data. Okay, That's going to be the data that gets written to memory. Here's the read data. That's going to be the data that's read for a particular address. And then there's two, two control inputs. When you pulse this one right here, this is memwrite that says take the write data and write it into the address specified what's on, by what's on the address line. And then there's another input that's down here, all the way back up at here, called memread. All right, so memread, when this guy gets pulsed, it looks at the address, and whatever data is at that address, it puts it on the read data line. Okay, so you've got address, read data, write data, memwrite, and memread. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do this guy real quick. All right, so here's the VHDL. Let's see, what do we got here? Let's look at a high level. Yeah, so we've done the instruction memory, we've done an ALU, we've done a MUX, a register file, sign extender. All right, so today we're going to do the um, uh, data memory. So we'll say new source, VHDL module, and what should we call this? How about data memory? All right, so we've got data memory, VHDL module, and next. And we can fill in this guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We've got address. Right? And what's address going to be? It's going to be an input. And is it a bus? Yeah, it's a bus. How big is it? Well, I think uh, 31 30 to 0. So it's 32-bit. And then I've got a write data. And this is the data that will be written. Input. It is a bus. Okay. And then uh, 32 bits also. And then we have a mem read. Okay. That's going to be a control signal. It's going to be an input, and it's also just gonna, it's going to be one bit because we're just going to either assert that or not when we want to read or. Not. And then we also have a uh, another control signal called mem write, and that's an input, and it'll also be one bit. Okay. And then of course we can read from our memory. Okay, so that's going to be an output, and it'll be a bus, and it'll be 32 bits. Okay. So yeah, so we have 32-bit address input, 32-bit write data input, a 1-bit mem read, 1-bit mem write, and a 32-bit read data out. All right, looks good. Uh, finish, and there you go. It stubbed out a file, and it actually populated the entity for me. Keep that around because we might need that. And there's my entity. Yeah. So now I've got my entity address, read write data, mem read, mem write, and read data. Okay. All right, well, what we need to do is kind of play that same game that we did before. And, I'm, you know, this is probably not the right way of doing it. Well, clearly it's not. I should really actually use some dedicated memory on the board. But I'm just going to kind of simulate in VHDL to keep things simple because we're really focusing on getting a working processor. All right. So I just copied and pasted some stuff in here. And what I did is I created a new data type with the type command, type word and then I'm going to give that new data type the name RAM 16 by 32. So my data memory is only going to be 16 words. Each word is 32 bits long. So really I have much more data memory but this is just a simple simulation. So I'm only going to have 16. So it's a 16 by 32 and the way I do that I say is array from 0 to 15 which is 16 elements and then each one of these elements is 32 bits long. Okay. So that's the type. Now what I do is I come along and I use my signal to declare an instance of this type named DM for data memory. The type is 16 by 32, which we declared up to here. And then I populate it. Okay, So I'm basically setting my, my memory to all zeros. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 locations because it was a 16 by 32. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume this first memory location starts at 1001 quad zero. And this location here would be 1001, 0004, 1001, 0008, and so forth. Okay, so I've got 16 locations in memory. All right, let's save that. Get any errors? Nope. Now, the next part of the problem is um, let's just uh, implement the functionality. And the functionality is to read and write this guy. 
So what we do is we go down to the begin in block in the architecture. And let's see, what do we have here? Well, we have a process block. A yeah, process block is sequential code. And it's going to trip on mem read and mem write. Okay, it's only going to execute if mem read and mem write um, change. Okay, so what we can what we remember is mem read and mem write were inputs. Okay. So when those guys change, then I have to say how did they change? Do they change from a zero to a one or one to a zero? And I basically say, well, if mem write is a one, then that means I need to write. I need to assign something to data memory. What am I going to assign to data memory? Well, I'm going to assign write data. Okay, so then what you need to do is get the index of the particular element according to our structure up above. Because DM0 would be the first one, DM1 would be the second word, DM2 would be the third word, but the word are four bytes. So what I do is I take the address coming in. Okay, remember, address was an input. 32 bits. Address was an input. So I take that address and I convert it to an unsigned and then to an integer. Okay. And then what I do is I subtract off this number here. Okay, why am I doing that? Why am I subtracting off that number there? Well, let's take this and um, let's uh, do that. Let's uh, put it up here so you can see it. Yeah. So note that 26850992 is equal to hex 1001 quad zero. So I'm taking this address and I'm subtracting off 1001 quad zero. Okay, so if I want to write 1001 quad zero, uh, this quantity right here is going to be zero. Now I need to divide by four because my type up here is um, accessing the elements uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, where each one is a word. Okay? So if I bring in 1001, 0, 0, 0, 4, and I subtract off this, then I get 4. And if I divide by 4, I get 1, and that's the first element up above. So it's a little, you know, kind of tricky manipulation to basically shove the right data into DM. And then I have the same thing down here. If mem read is equal to 1, then what do I do? I just take the contents of that data memory and I put it on my output read data. But I've got to play the same game again. Two integer unsigned, take the address, subtract off 1001 quad zero, and then divide by four. And that is the index of DM that I want. And then I can uh, set that to read data. All right? And there you go. That's it. Let's save it and compile it and see if this thing uh, does a, passes the behavioral check syntax. Oh, we got some errors. Well, I think by this time in the video, you probably know what those errors are. Anytime you use this unsigned to integer uh, conversion, uns here I'm taking uh, address, which is a standard logic. I'm using unsigned to convert it to an unsigned, and then I'm using to integer to go from an unsigned to, a, to an integer. And th at that point, I can subtract off a hard-coded literal. Okay? And all that uh, conversion stuff is in the IEEE numeric standard. Okay? So you need that guy. So save that, and I bet the errors go away. Hey, they do. All right, so we saved everything. Data memory, behavior check syntax, and we're good. All right, at that point, I'm going to stop, and the next video, we'll uh, write a test bench for this guy to see if we can actually read and write memory by pulsing mem read and mem write. All right, thanks for watching.